of my bad bitches. I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hoss me looking okay. Yeah. She thinks that she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? <laughs> he said he ain't fucking around. I look at him like, okay. I used to be. I ain't bugging. I ain't bugging. I ain't bugging. Okay. I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hoss me looking okay. She thinks that she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? What's up, you guys? So here, I just got to the nail salon, y'all. I'm, like, low-key running late today. Like, it's literally 4.30 p.m., y'all, but I had a late start today, but I ended up eventually getting up. I cleaned my apartment, so my apartment looks really good, and I was like, I got to clean before getting out the house, you know? I just like to do my chores beforehand, and I'm so glad I did, so... I just pulled up to this nail salon. It's called the Milano Nail Salon in the Heights, I believe, here in Houston. So it had like four point like whatever stars. And like one of my friends who does live here, she did recommend this nail salon. So I was like, let me go ahead and go and get my nails done. So I'm really just keeping it simple today, y'all. Like I'm probably just going to get white on my hands and then like soft pink either soft pink or white on my toes i was like debating on getting like a french manicure like on both my hands and my feet but i don't really feel like doing that not today so but we'll see maybe i'll change my mind but yeah i'm in the car now i'm about to go ahead and head on in because it's already 4 30 so i really don't want to be in the nail salon for like super long so that's why i'm just trying to get something simple i'm not doing acrylic or nothing like that i just want something simple but yeah let's go ahead and get into it y'all it is so hot today y'all like when i was cleaning my apartment this is like the first time i actually really had to just close all of my like blinds and stuff because it was so hot it got so hot in my apartment but yes y'all let me let's go ahead and go into milano I've been thinking maybe things were never the way we made them to be. How we thought they were. Lately, I'm not sure. One thing for sure is when we're together, the toxic is ever.
All right, what's up, you guys? I'm not really feeling this camera angle at all, so we're going to be quick. But pretty much, y'all, I just wanted to give you guys an update. So I went to, y'all, I'm not even going to lie. I went to the wrong nail salon at first. I thought I was going to the Milano nail salon, but the first one that I went to was called The Heights. And I don't know why my GPS led me there, but y'all, to be honest, I would probably not get my nails done there anyways because when I walked in, it's like nobody was really like, saying anything to me like i was kind of standing there for a minute and usually i'm used to the nail salon like when you walk in like let's just let's just give it like at least 10 to 20 seconds i may stand there for a second before somebody acknowledges me but there it felt like an eternity before somebody actually said like what do you want and then too once i told them what i wanted which is just something simple they were like okay well basically it was like an hour wait and i was like I, I was like an hour wait like I was just kind of like thrown off which I mean I understand like I didn't have an appointment so it may be a little wait you know but an hour I'm like I've never waited an hour to get my nails done and I'm like it's 10,000 nail salons in Houston I don't need to go to this one and it's so crazy because I thought I was at the Milano Heights nail salon but I wasn't I was at just a completely different one so I went on to Google Maps and I finally found the Milano nail salon and they serviced me immediately y'all like I was able to sit down I didn't get a drink this time at the nail salon but it's fine they were able to do white just regular gel white on my hands and let me show you guys my toes so i keep my toes on i got some like fuzzies on it but yeah i just got like soft pink on my toes so but yeah, my feet literally look a million times better, y'all. They, they did such a good job, so I definitely tipped well. I'm not gonna lie, they were taxing on the gel nail polish. Like, can we go back to like when you can get a mani pedi for like $35, like $40, $50? Like the, the total, I paid like $90. Well, it was $90 flat, and then I tipped them like 18%. So like my total was like a hundred and something dollars, y'all. And I'm like, I didn't even get like acrylic. I didn't even get like a design and it was still a hundred dollars. Like I was thinking, and I got like the cheapest of the cheap. Like I got the express pedicure. That was $30. And I mean, I just got like a simple mani pedi in my opinion, but it's done now. And I will say they, the customer service was like phenomenal. So, I mean, it was worth the money. Yes, y'all. After that, I was conveniently like right by Target. So I was able to go to Target because I needed to get some toilet paper. And then I had to go all the way out to Matcha Mia to get some matcha for me and one of my friends. So that's why I drove all the way out to Katie, y'all. Like I don't, Y'all, Katy, Texas is far, y'all. Like, technically, I guess it's still Houston, but it is far. So, it took me, like, 30-something minutes to get back home to, like, the city. And I was flying, too, y'all. Like, I took the um, express lane and everything. But if I didn't take the express lane, it definitely would have taken me probably close to an hour just to get home. But, hey, that's Houston for you. But, yes, y'all. So, it is Saturday it's about to be Saturday night. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, if anything. I will say, remember in my last vlog, I said I wanted to try like the lemon lime Olipop. I got that today because if I do go out, like I don't want to be bloated, if that makes sense. So, and I seen online where this does help with bloating. So, yeah, because it has like prebiotics plant fiber now fiber can make you bloated but i'm used to blood um to fiber so yes y'all look at how pretty it is but yes y'all so here i'm gonna go ahead and charge up this camera because it is on its last leg that's the only thing about these sony cameras y'all like the battery is ass but they're like the best vlogging youtube like anything type camera if it comes to like or when it comes to film i do want to go out tonight i'm not even gonna lie but we'll see we'll see it is memorial day weekend y'all and i forgot so i didn't even know i was off on monday but thank god so i needed it because i didn't really i guess i did get a lot done today i'm not even gonna lie i just had like a late start but 
overall, I'm proud of myself because I got the things that I needed, got my nails done, and I also cleaned my apartment, like, really, really cleaned. I don't like the way my face looks. I think, I don't, I think it's my hair, y'all. My hair isn't framing my face well at the moment, so that's why I feel like I'm not feeling myself. So, I'm gonna probably, like, take a shower, wash my hair, and part it down the middle. Either I'm going to do that or I'm going to just slick it back. Because I do like it when my hair is like slicked back in the middle. But it depends on if we go out or not. So stay tuned. On the 30, made the farthest. I'm a walking strip, record me. It's a 30 and a 40. Switch making it fast as hell. Bitch told me she prayed for me, told her people go to them in the cell. I don't got no stylus, money, shoes, and pants. I'm fresh as hell. Yes, I know what happened. Ain't no right. I ain't gonna never tell. You can follow, baby, won't leave you wrong, but I ain't gonna never fail. you. Bitch was trying to show me the right way to do it. I was so rebellious. Whatever they ain't doing, don't bother me, bro. I'm all so careless. You the type of guy that want for I for real. You all so seven. I'm the type of guy ready to die for this shit. It don't prevail us. I can't slip. Look at this shit I built. I know they trying to nail us. It was two, three thousand off a rip. She said she want her nails. Now Cuban links on just because. This shit really from the mud. We had a little business like gentlemen. I can't rock with us. Jeff can get 10 M's if he needed it. You know I rock with thugs. All my nigga jacking the bosses playing. We popping up. No switches on. I put with that shit on. Pop up like my granny. Got my granny. Lot of chains on. I might pop up with your bitch. Later on, I send her home. I heard he heard I hit his bitch. So he don't like to hear my song. She said, what you make me sit? How on I'm your man? A million in a duffel, smurf dollars, blue colors. Pull up, bit by the barber trucks, the new homies. Told me I let a pipe right, I'm her new plumber. It's hard to interact with people, I come from the jungle. We some animals and designer clothes and chairs. We got the same cars, they drove them fast and furious. She asked me, do I love I said, you can't be serious.
y'all so we are back from heb today is thursday and it is 10 30 p.m but i want to do a little grocery haul and if you're hearing background noise it's because i just cleaned up my kitchen and wanted to wash these dishes but let's go ahead and get into this haul you guys so yeah i just went to heb real quick i was like let me just get something for the weekend because if you don't know me by now you should already know like I'm literally in the grocery store like every day. Like I'm a grocery store fiend. <laughs> it's crazy. But I was trying to figure out what I wanted to cook today. And y'all, I don't know why, but I'm literally obsessed with the salmon that's at H-E-B. Especially the one that comes in, um, in particular, this four pack. What I like about the four pack is that it's already like portioned out like perfectly for you. And, I mean, it's already cut up and everything, so all I have to do is just, like, rinse it off, season it, and then throw it in the oven, and we're good to go. So, yeah, so that's one thing that I got today, y'all. I got some more salmon, and it's always $20 for four pieces. I'm not sure. I feel like if I um, ask the person at the seafood counter to cut up the same size, like, salmon portions... I think it would be more because I feel like I went that route one time and the total, my total amount came up to like $25 something dollars for salmon when normally it's like $20 for like this four pack. So I'm like, let me just stick to the four pack and keep it pushing. But I think, okay, so I was debating on cooking salmon tonight or cooking some chicken wings. But y'all, I've literally been eating salmon for like the past like month. So I'm like, let me switch it up. So I got me some chicken wing portions from H-E-B. And what I also like about H-E-B is that, well, I don't know if they have this at, at like every other grocery store. I know they have it at Whole Foods, but yeah, I just like the wings. Like, I'm a flats girl. Like, comment down below if you're a drumstick lover or a flats lover. But me, I love the flats. So yeah, I was thinking about cooking some chicken wings in my air fryer. And I was going to mix in some, or not mix in, but I was going to coat the wings with this baking powder that I got as well. Just so it gives it like a fried chicken flavor, but it's healthier. So you're not like using grease. And then I was going to eat the chicken wings with some roasted broccoli, you guys. And also too, I'm not going to lie, like at first... I was going to cook the chicken wings with roasted broccoli and a baked potato, but y'all, like, I really don't feel like eating a baked potato this late since it's already, like, 10.30 something. And, two, like, I am trying to watch what I eat lately because, y'all, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I am 27, so my metabolism isn't as high as it used to be, and I notice. Um, I mean, I'm still basically like a small person at the end of the day, but I will say that I noticed that my body weight changes way faster now, especially if I'm eating like more carbs. Like I had to stop eating like those wide egg noodles all the time, you guys. Like the wide egg noodles, the jasmine rice, like I used to eat that all the time and y'all, I had to like stop. I had to, I had to like switch up my carbs if that makes sense. And I will say potatoes are very healthy for you, but I just, I, I just don't feel like eating a baked potato tonight. So I'm like, I'm gonna just stick to wings and broccoli. So I know that's technically not like a full plate of like nutrition if that makes sense like you know how like most nutritionists or like how um people present their like plates online it's like you always have a protein a vegetable and a carb but honestly y'all i'm the type of person where it's like i'd still go with the flow at the end of the day if i feel like i don't need carbs like extra carbs for the day then i'm just not gonna make carbs like you know i don't care how colorful or not colorful my plate looks but i will say i do always incorporate vegetables in my meals but yeah that's neither here nor there so yeah today i'm just gonna cook my roasted broccoli and chicken and call it a night and i'll cook the salmon tomorrow also got some more eggs you guys i literally never run out of eggs and this is the first time i ran out of eggs in a minute so, your girl was starving all day today, y'all. Because normally I always boil eggs first thing in the morning. So, 
And then the next thing that I got from H-E-B are these Chobani Greek yogurt um, drinks. I've never seen um, the yogurt drinks before. So, like, this is my first time seeing the yogurt drinks at the grocery store. And normally me, I do like the yogurt form of the mango flavor. But I will say I was wishing that the yogurt came in, like, more of a liquid form because... I don't really eat the mangoes that are like at the bottom of the yogurt. Like I do, but I don't. Like I can do without them. So when I seen that they have a mango Greek yogurt drink, I was like, let me try this. So I bought both of these because they were only like a dollar and change for both. Yeah, they're a dollar and seventy eight cents. And I really like these. So I really like these for your gut health and everything. I also had to re-up on some butter, y'all. I got me a Red Bull. You guys definitely saw that on camera. You guys know I'm a grape fiend. So I got me some more grapes. I just got some regular, um, it'll show right here. Regular black seedless grapes. What do they say? Black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. I definitely agree. And then the last two things that I got, you guys, were I wanted to re-up on these poppy drinks, you guys. So I definitely had to get the grape again because the grape one is, like, really good. So I've already had the grape one. I tried the lemon lime one on camera. Or maybe I didn't try it on camera. I don't know, y'all. I need to edit, like, the footage to see. But the lemon lime one was okay. It didn't really taste like Sprite to me. It just tasted like... A sweeter version of Sprite like it didn't have like the crispiness that Sprite has so I was a little bit disappointed but today I want to try the raspberry rose one because I've seen this one like all over online most people mix this with like the um, like a cranberry juice like tart cranberry and this and the third but I was like I don't feel like mixing it with anything at the moment I just want to try it as it is and we'll go from there because I did kind of want to make a mocktail y'all but well shoot we can still make our little mocktail with just this so let's go ahead and make our mocktail real fast okay I got my cup of ice and a straw so, I definitely want to try this on camera you guys so you guys can see my real reaction The color is so pretty, you guys. Like, what in the world? It's real pretty. Y'all did my makeup today. It's so good. Okay. Oh, and I'm just spilling it everywhere. All right, you guys. So, this is me trying the raspberry rose by itself. So, let me see how this tastes. I think I like this better than the grape one, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie, I like it. It's it's not it's not doing too much. It's not doing too much. It's just enough flavor, but not super sweet, but not like it gives ras what is it? Raspberry rose. It definitely gives raspberry rose. It's like a light flavor, not too much. I see why people put like cranberry juice in it, because it's like I feel like this is a really good um, mixing flavor type of soda. Or not soda, but, well, yeah, it is a prebiotic soda, so, yeah. Okay. Okay, Poppy. I actually really like these. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. I may have to buy a case of them eventually just because you save money when you um, buy a case compared to, like, individually. Because these poppies are not cheap, y'all. They're $2.46 per. So, that's a lot of money for, like, one can of soda, in my opinion. But, it's neither here nor there. I do like my makeup today. So, I did my makeup different than how I did it in my last vlog video, y'all. Pretty much, I just followed the same routine that I've seen a lot of people doing lately with their makeup. Like, you know how back in the day, people would always, like, 
put on primer and then a full face of foundation, big concealer, contour, all this, that, and the third. But now it's like people, they don't do that anymore. Now it's like instead of putting on a full face of foundation, the first thing they do is they do um, concealer, contour, blush, blend all of that out, set it, and then whatever is left, then that's when you put on a little bit of your foundation to cover like the areas that you missed or like needs coverage, if that makes sense. So that's how I did my makeup today. And I used a different foundation. Let me get it actually. Yeah, so instead of using the Fenty eavesdrops, which I do like these um, eavesdrops, which mind you, I got it in the shade 16. But yeah, instead of using the Fenty eavesdrops, I decided to use my MAC Studio Radiance Serum Foundation, which I have not used this foundation in a minute. And this is in NC47. On this hand is the Fenty right here, and then this one is the MAC. And as you can tell, the MAC has just a little bit more warmth in the color compared to the Fenty. So I feel like that's what I needed. So that's why I do feel like the MAC foundation fits my skin tone a little bit better than the Fenty. Which is why I feel like my makeup doesn't look as ghostly or like, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like my makeup looks better today than in the last video. So, and mind y'all, I, ha I literally have not, this is the second time I've done my makeup like this year. So, and I used to do my makeup all the time, y'all. So I'm not going to lie, I kind of forgot how to like do my makeup. <laughs> Oh, and two, today was the first day that I actually really tried the one size pink powder. Let me get that as well. Yeah, so I tried the one size ultra pink powder today. And mind y'all, I literally bought this powder like probably, what's, today is May? I'm pretty sure I bought this powder like back in January, y'all. Yeah, y'all, I literally bought this powder back in January, but today is like the first time I actually really got to use it. And I do actually like the finish of it. I do feel like the powder could be a little bit finer. Like, it's not as fine as compared to my Laura Mercier powder, but I do like the finish that it gives. So I basically just use this to set like my uh, concealer underneath my eyes and everything. But for the rest of my face, I use the Laura Mercier concealer. But yeah, I do like this. So I'm gonna definitely try. I'm gonna definitely keep using it. And then on the lips, I have my Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Oil on. I really like the Tarte. Um, hold on, let me get it. Yeah, I really like the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Ship. And normally I get the shade Kiwi, but the other. The last time I bought this, I bought it in the shade Big Ego. <laughs> I tried to get it to focus, but whatever. But yeah, so I used the Big Ego today on my lips just now. And I do like the color. So I will say for this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip, for the Big Ego color, I like wearing this color when I have on a full face of makeup. But when I don't have makeup on, I don't like wearing this color because it makes my lips look too light and pink if that makes sense like crackish if that makes sense so i don't like that look so like on the days when i don't wear full face makeup i normally opt for the kiwi version of the tarte maracuja juicy lip which the kiwi version is the green one it basically changes colors based on the ph of your um lips y'all already know y'all already know the color changing like lip pencils and stuff but yes you guys Y'all, I can barely talk right now. I think it's because I'm just so hungry because I have not ate anything at all today. And it's literally 10.50 p.m. So I'm going to go ahead and start cooking. And also to camera update, y'all. But I finally got my lens for my Sony camera. So we are back in action when it comes to using my good, good Sony camera. So... Yes, y'all. But anyways, y'all, that is it for this update. Because, like I said, I'm tired. At least tomorrow is Friday. And then I'll be off of work until Monday. Ugh, the 9 to 5 life. Mm. But I was going to say, I do really like the way I look today, y'all. And my nails done, too. Nobody can tell me nothing. Matter of fact, when I was, like, in my apartment just now, 
waiting on the elevator this guy stopped me he was like oh my god i thought you were like this celebrity off of like this show he was like you look just like um whoever this person is which mind you he couldn't remember who the person was at the time but i was like hey i'm gonna still take the compliment because i know i'm a celebrity at the end of the day or i'm going to be one so mark my words all right y'all i'll see y'all in the next update